This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Call Elayim, Elahayanawa, Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. That's all praise, all power, all glory to Yahawah, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning He delivers, He saves. Yahweh Shai, delivers. Bahashem, in the name. Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathyam listening, listening and learning in sincerity and the truth and in silence, Shalawam. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathyam meaning sisters, Shalawam meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Right? We'll get right into it. Are you listening? Right? Are you listening? Proverbs 1 verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, ye simple ones, who are the simple two-thirds of our people? Right? Will ye love simplicity? Right? You love everything Esau's world has to offer you. Let's look at this word simplicity. Simplicity, Strong's, Strong's H6612, right, in the Hebrew. Strong's H6612, Pethi, Pethi. Simple, foolish, open-minded, right, example, seducible. Right, scripture just came to mind. Seducible, so two thirds of our people are easily seduced out here, man. Scripture just came to mind. The way of the wicked seduceth him. Proverbs 12, verse 26, and it reads, The righteous, right, who are the righteous? Israelites, beginning with the elect on this side, right? Israel being a people before a place. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth him, right? The way of the wicked seduceth him, right? So the simple ones two-thirds of our people are easily seduced by the ways of the wicked right hence script hence the scripture how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge fools two-thirds of our people are fools why they hate knowledge they don't want to hear this they don't want to hear the truth they don't, want to hear, they don't want to hear the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They're going to buck up against the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They're going to call on the name of Serapis Christos. They're going, to, they're going to pack up in their harlot houses, the churches. They're knee deep, they're, 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 they're shoulder deep, neck deep in Christianity, amongst other things, right? Amongst other idols. Right, they're not listening. Right, the title is lesson. Are you listening? Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. 
I will make known my words unto you. Right? And how is the Lord making known his words unto you? Through the mouths of the prophets. Right? Prophesying. Standing on the highways and hedges. On the highways and hedges. Crying aloud, spearing not. Let's get that. Staple scripture. This is how the Lord calls out Isaiah 58 verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spear not. Right? So the prophets are going to be prophesying and, and preaching. Right? Prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom, America, the great Babylon, the great. And teaching, teaching who? Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. Spear not. They're not going to care about your feelings. The prophets aren't going to care about your feelings. They're going to tell you the straight skinny. Tell it like it is. Right? They're not going to sugarcoat. They're not going to. They're not going to sugar sugarcoat. Salakia, tongue twister. They're not going to sugarcoat the doctrine. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, right? Loud. Right. No mics needed. And show my people their transgression, right? Whose people? Yahweh Bashem Shai, his people, who are Israelites. Israel being Israel being a people before a place. Right, this may sound repetitive, but this is how the Lord spake. Rep rep repetition, right? And who are the Israelites? You so-called indigenous, you so-called indigenous, you so-called Latino, you so-called Negro, and speck of bird. Those that look like the other nations, but your 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 spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob through your fathers, right? And the house of Jacob, Israelites, their sin so. The prophet's going to be telling you you're going off. Repent. The names are Yahweh Bashim Shai. These are the Sabbaths. These are the high holy days. This is how you're supposed to conduct yourself. Learn not the way of the heathen. Come out of that. Stop eating pork and shellfish. Stop lining up your beard. Stop committing adultery. That's what the prophet's going to be doing in the last days. Crying aloud, spearing not. And warning Jacob, the house of it, the house of Jacob, of their sins. Right? Are you listening? Verse twenty-four: Because I have called and you refuse. Right? The Lord calls through the mouths of this mouths of his prophets. Let's get that. That's in a. Uh, that's in a. Uh, Hosea twelve. Hosea 12 verse 10 and it reads I have also spoken by the prophets right the most I speak through the mouths of the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes right dreams visions this is how the prophets in the ancient world received the words of Yahweh Shem Yoshai through visions through similitudes right by the ministry of the prophets, right? The ministry of the prophets. Let's get let's look into this word similitudes. Fredification tape. Fredification sake. Strong's H1819. Dama in the Hebrew. Da ma in the Hebrew. To be like, resemble, to liken, compare, right? To imagine, think. To make oneself like, right? So the Most High uses similitudes and visions and speaks via the mouths of the prophets. Right? Proverbs 1 verse 24 once again. Because I have called and you refuse, right? You two-thirds, you ain't listening, you're bucking up, you're refusing. I've stretched out my hand and no man regarded, right? No man is looking, no man is seeing, no man cares. Two-thirds of the people don't care. They're consumed with the simplicity. Esau's king, Esau's queendom. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. Set at naught. Right? You, you refuse to hearken. You don't want to hear it. 
and with none of my reproof let's look at this in the nlt right two-thirds nlt proverbs 1 verse 25 in the nlt you ignored my advice and rejected the correction i offered right now how is the correction coming out through the mouths of the prophets NIV, NIV, since you disregard all my advice and do not accept my rebuke, right? And that's two thirds of our people today, man. You see me? Right? They don't care. They want Babylon, America, to continue. Right? Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65 verse 12. So what happens when you refuse the instruction and you have and, and you don't want to hear the reproof? Isaiah 65 verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, right? The most I go number you two thirds to the sword. What's the sword? A killing instrument. What's today's killing instrument? The gun. Right? And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, right? You're going to be destroyed on this side. Whether it be by sword, whether it be by teeth of beasts, whether it be by famine, whether it be by uh, FEMA camps, being ravished, right? You're going to bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer, right? When the Most High extended his hand, you didn't answer. You didn't listen, right? Are you listening? When I spake, you did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes. And the choose that we're in, I delighted not, right? You continued on in the simplicity. You continued on in Esau, Esau, Edom's queendom, right? You refused when the Mosai Yahweh Shemel Shai stretched out his hand, right? So the Lord going to bow you down to the slaughter. Proverbs 15. Right? Proverbs 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Right? The correction. How does the correction go out? Through the mouth of the prophets, man. Ultimately, the words of Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai is the correction. Right? The prophets are just vessels. These are not our words. These are the words of Yahweh B'Shem Yahushai. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Right? Unto him that forsaketh the way. Unto him that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. From hearing the words of correction. Right? Forsake means to turn away. To betray. Right? And he that hateth reproof. He that hateth correction. He that hateth uh, rebuke. Shall die. Right? two-thirds right two-thirds we're right up to the missus fly two-thirds going to continue on in the simplicity of esau's queendom nlt whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined whoever whoever hates correction will die niv stern discipline awaits anyone who leaves the path what path the path of yahweh b'shem shai the right way these last action commandments given to the house of israel israel being a people for a place the one who hates correction will die right most is not playing man jeremiah 5 jeremiah 5 verse 3 and it reads O Lord, all caps, Yahweh, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved, right, you two-thirds. Thou hast consumed them, but they refuse to receive correction, right, two-thirds, stubborn, rebellious, stiff-necked house, refusing to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock 
they refuse to return two thirds, man. Plain as day, right? Two thirds don't want to hear it. Two thirds is all, always wants to teach. When you're giving them correction, they want to teach. They want to give vain opinions. NLT, Lord Yahweh, you are searching for honesty. You struck your people, but they paid no attention. You crushed them, but they refused to be corrected. Right? And are we not in a, are we not crushed right now? We're crushed. Right? And Jake's still out here refusing to repent, man. Jake's still out here hanging on to Serapis Christos, man. And do as thou wilt. And doing all kind of abominable things. But they refuse to be corrected. They are determined. Right? Stubborn, stiff-necked, rebellious house. With faces set like stone. They have refused to repent, right? They're, re they're rebellious, rebellious house. That's why the Mosai Yahweh Shai is going to have to destroy two thirds of the house of Israel. Matter of fact, let's get that, man. Zechariah 13. Zechariah 13 verse 8 And it shall come to pass that in all the land saith the Lord Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two thirds is going to be cut off and die in the destruction. Two thirds are going to starve to death. Two thirds are going to uh, uh, eat a missile. Two thirds are going to end up in FEMA camps. Two thirds are going to take the M to the O to the T to the B. The C hip. But the third shall be left therein. The third the one third and the one four four right they're going to go through it they're going to be tried as gold is tried in the fire right verse nine and i will bring the third part through the fire right the third the one four four and the one third are going to be tried and delivered and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried they shall call on my name yahweh bahashem yahweh shai those are the names and I will hear them, right? And the, the Lord Yahweh is going to hear his, his elect. Lord willing, we are of that number. I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power. Right? Lord willing, we are of that number. The hopeful elect. Right? But two-thirds. Two-thirds are going to suffer death by pain. First Peter three, First Peter three, verse twelve, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, right? The elect on this side, and his ears are open unto their prayers, right? The Lord Yahweh Bashimel Shai is only hearing the prayers of the, of the elect, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, right? So two thirds that do evil, evil meaning bad times. The Lord is against you, men. You're going, have, you're going to have to die on this side and come back in the, in the kingdom through the loins of the elect. Right? Zephaniah, let's close. Right? Are you listening? You two-thirds. Zephaniah 2 verse 3. And it reads... Seek ye the Lord Yahweh, are ye meek of the earth, right? Seek Yahweh by Shemion Shai, right? The meek of the earth, who are the meek Israelites, which have wrought his judgment, right? Wrought his judgment. The Israelites are under the curses, right? All 12 tribes are under the curses. Seek righteousness, right? Turn, turn, turn from your wickedness. Seek the Lord Yahweh by Shemion Shai. Seek meekness, right? Seek the Lord Yahweh B'Shem Shai. Repent, right? Why? It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord Yahweh B'Shem Shai's anger, right? So you're going to seek the Lord right now while ye may be found. Right? In hopes, right? That you will be hid from the anger that's coming, from the judgment that's coming. From the from the from the grievous deaths that are about to pass through 
two thirds of the house of Israel. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.